Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the processor or the CPU on the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop 690-0010 and uh, this tower comes with the Ryzen 3 2200G so um, I have the new processor, this is uh, AMD Ryzen 7 2700 so uh, this is the math option you can do on this tower and uh, please don't get the uh, version with X extension right here because uh, this tower doesn't support first step we're gonna remove this side panel by using a uh, Philip red screw head to remove this uh, black screw alright then you're gonna remove the side panel by hole this lock and pour. Our so, uh, next step, I'm going to remove two screws right here because uh, I need to remove the graphic card for more room to accept the CPU. Uh, I probably remove uh, the RAMs as well because uh, we need more room to um, work on the CPU. I don't want to remove the uh, motherboard outside to work on that. I want to keep it in there. So I'm gonna remove this one. Okay. Step. I'm gonna remove four screws right here. One, two, three, and four. Before I remove this panel, you might notice to remove the CD driver first by push this black clip. Yep, like that. Then disconnect the SATA cable. All right, power supply cable right here. Okay, done. So it's good to remove this section by slightly pull out until you hear a click. And it's gonna be, oops, this is my uh, two and a half inch uh, HDD. But I don't think uh, all of us will have it. Okay, and uh, this also, oh, okay. and this section completely removed. Then I'm gonna remove the RAM first. I pull back where the clip, both side, and you can get the RAM out. Next, you're gonna pull out the uh, graphic card right here. Just using your finger and put back this one and this one. Okay, do you see that? Okay, I'm gonna make it again. Pull this back and use this. Okay, to pull up. And you are able to take the graphic card. Okay, so now we have a lot of room to set the heat sink and the B CPU underneath. So uh, we're gonna unscrew these four screws by using the same uh, star uh, head, screw head right here.
after you unscrew this four screw, it's a bit hard to uh, remove the heat sink because the thermal space stick uh, very tight on the CPU at the first time if you remove the heat sink. So uh, you're gonna shake it a little bit and uh, don't forget uh, to uh, remove the uh, power fan cable right here before you remove the heat sink. So uh, I'm gonna remove it first and uh, try to lift the heat sink out of the processor. Okay, so all right. So this is the heat sink and the thermal paste. So you can see the CPU right there. This is the uh, Ryzen 3 2200G. So I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna use the uh, Q-tip to uh, remove the um, thermal space to make sure it's uh, clean uh, before I touch it. So you see the arm right here to keep the uh, CPU push down. So um, to remove it, you're gonna use your thumb, pull it out a little bit and lift it up like that. And now it's good to take the CPU outside. So use the thumb the, and the index finger to catch the CPU and very easy to remove it. See that? It's very awesome moment. I'm gonna quickly unbox the uh, AMD Ryzen 7 2700 right now. So uh, this is the brand new one, the series still on. So uh, I'm gonna take it out. So um, in the box, in, uh, including the first in, uh, instruction, uh, installation instruction. So we will set it aside to watch it later. So um, come with uh, the CPU. This is, uh, I think, the uh, heat sink. This is the heat sink. Um, I think it also has the um, LED light right here. And uh, finally, this is our main character, the uh, Ryzen 7 2700 CPU. Okay, it's time to install the new CPU uh, in the socket. However, you have to uh, note that the golden arrow here must match with the arrow right here so that's the orientation direction you must follow to make sure uh, the CPU is uh, installed uh, appropriately so uh, I'm gonna do it right now so this is a brand new one, so I'm gonna use the thumbnail and the index to catch it and then turn it like this. And you will see exactly where the uh, golden arrow uh, and the arrow right there. So uh, very easy and slowly to install it. After you safely install the uh, CPU, make sure that everything 
not moving see nothing moving and then it's good time to um, push the arm back like that and this are on set I will add some thermal paste right here so you will uh, inject some right at the middle of the processor and it should be like that much okay I also um, wipe out and uh, clean the uh, old uh, thermal paste right here so um, as you see the, the distance between the uh, shrill right here um, don't match the AMD hissing so I'm gonna reduce this one so that's why I have to remove all the uh, old thermal paste and use the fresh one right there so now I'm reinstall the uh, hissing the stock hissing right here okay by uh, tight Tighten the shrill, the force shrill. Before you run the computer or boost the computer on, please uh, clear the CMOS by uh, uh, use the clear CMOS chamber right here. So uh, you just try to remove it and leave it for a few minutes and then reinstall it and let's see uh, what's going on. Uh, I want to show you this is how the uh, CMOS jumper look like so uh, you gonna reinstall it and start the computer because when you upgrade a new CPU you want to clear the CMOS to get the motherboard uh, recognize the new CPU uh, because the motherboard like uh, gets along with the old CPU too long so um, it's uh, not able to recognize the new CPU if you don't um, restart the CMOS by uh, remove this uh, jumper. So now I will reinstall it. When you first boot your computer, you will see the latest BIOS. However, uh, you gonna see uh, some instructions right here. So FTPM, like the firmware trusted platform module. So um, you have two options, Y and N. Check this out, finally I installed the uh, Ryzen 7 2700 successfully. Um, yeah, just a bit confused, um, two steps you want to do. First, upgrade to the latest BIOS, and the second one, after you install the uh, CPU, you must uh, clear or reset the CMOS, uh, so that's um, the window allows you to get the new um, CPU set up completely so you probably uh, confused or worried about some step but I show you the instruction when you first boot your computer so you must say yes you must say yes to restart all the password or the pin or whatever you have to 
or you cannot remember so remember that okay and good luck with your upgrading